which is 4 into 10 power minus 9 coulomb meter 4.87 into 10 power minus 7 coulomb the mutual force of repulsion is 1.5 into 10 power minus 2 newton how many electrons are transferred in this process hello students this is sd sir from the temple of excellence vidyashram pre university mysore at another session where again i will solve numericals from the chapter electric fields and charges and these are a few numericals prescribed by your ncert textbook hope you have gone through the previous sessions you have come prepared for today's class the first problem students the problem says an electric dipole there is an electric dipole in dipole and re to equal and opposite charges with dipole moment 4 into 10 power minus 9 coulomb meter SI unit dipole moment do one mark yavaglu keltare coulomb meter aligned at 30 degrees with the direction of uniform electric field of magnitude 5 into 10 power 4 newton per coulomb calculate the magnitude of the torque acting on the dipole first to date and collect mark on the dipole moment is given p which is 4 into 10 power minus 9 coulomb meter it is aligned at an angle of 30 degrees theta is 30 degrees to a uniform electric field whose strength is 5 into 10 power 4 so electric field strength is 5 into 10 power 4 newton per coulomb i have to calculate the magnitude of the torque acting on the dipole can you recall back the expression for torque yes we have clearly derived this in our concept class where torque equals p a sin theta now p is 4 into 10 power minus 9 4 into 10 power minus 9 strength of the electric field 5 into 10 power 4 
इंटू साइन थर्टी वेर साइन थर्टी इज हाफ और ऑन सिंप्लीफिकेशन दिस टर्न्स आउट टू बी टेन टू द पार माइनस फोर न्यूटन मीटर द एस आई यूनिट फॉर टॉर्क सो वेरी सिंपल जस्ट नो द एक्सप्रेशन सब्सटीट्यूशन एंड कैलकुलेशन टेक्स नो टाइम द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम स्टूडेंट्स अ पॉलिथिन पीस rubbed with wool is found to have a negative charge of 3 into 10 power minus 7 coulomb first i have to estimate the number of electrons transferred in this process how many electrons are transferred in this process so now a polythene piece is rubbed with wool वंद पॉलिथिन पेस ना उल जो ते रब मारी दारे, where he says it is found to have a negative charge of three into ten power minus seven coulomb. I have to calculate the number of electrons. transferred in this process how will i find the number of electrons transferred quantization principle we know q is n into e where n is the number of charges and e is the charge of the electron from which n equals q divided by e so n equals what is the charge on the polythene 3 into 10 power minus 7 charge of the electron into 10 power minus 19 so n is 1.875 so so many electrons are transferred in this process my next argument is is there a transfer of mass here very much yes conservation of mass has to happen so mass is transferred how much we know so m equals how many electrons are transferred into 10 power 12 What is the mass of each electron? Nine into ten power minus thirty-one. So we have one point six into ten power minus eighteen kgs. So so much of mass is transferred during the process. The next one. basically based on coulomb's law two insulated charged copper spheres there are two insulated 
charged copper spheres A and B have their centers separated by a distance of 50 centimeter. So, distance of separation is 50 centimeter, which is 0 0.5 meter. Find the mutual force of electrostatic repulsion. Mutual force of electrostatic repulsion. If the charge on each sphere is 6.5 into 10 power minus 7 coulomb. So charge on each sphere is 6.5 into 10 power minus 7 coulomb. So both Q1 and Q2 is 6.5 into 10 power minus 7 coulomb. The radii of A and B are negligible when compared to the distance. So the moment I say electrostatic repulsion, Mr. Coulomb comes into picture. So we know F equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square. Now substituting here again. So this is 9 into 10 power 9. So 6.5 into 10 power minus 7, 6.5 whole square. So on simplification, this is 1.5 into 10 power minus 2 Newton. So in the first case, the mutual force of repulsion is 1.5 into 10 power minus 2 Newton. Now, what is the force of repulsion if the charge on each sphere is doubled and the distance between them is halved. So charge on each sphere is doubled and the distance between them is halved. So we are doubling the charge. So again, we will use the same expression. So now F is 10 power 9, 13 into minus 7 because each charge is doubled and the distance is reduced to half. And on simplification, this turns out to be 0.24 Newton. So in the second case, the force is 0.24 Newton. Next one. Suppose the spheres A and B in the previous question 
have identical sizes. Previous problem al kotidnala two spheres A and B. They have the same size. A third sphere of same size but uncharged is brought in contact with the first. Now there is a third sphere which is uncharged which is brought in contact with the first then it is brought in contact with the second and finally removed from the both what is the new force of repulsion in the first case the spear C is brought in contact with A. The third sphere C is brought in contact with A. Now since both of them have same size, identical size, the charges get equally distributed. So Q1 is equal to 6.5 into 10 power minus 7 by 2 which is equal to 3.25 into 10 power. This is because both A and C have the same size in the second case, C is brought in contact with B. So here, Q2 becomes 6.5 plus 3.25 divided by 2 into 10 power minus 7. So this turns out to be 4.87 into 10 power minus 7 coulomb. So now Q1 and Q2 is known. I want the force of repulsion. Again Coulomb's law. 9 into 10 power 9. Q1 is 3.25 minus 7, 4.87.5 whole square. So on simplification, this is 5.7 into 10 power minus 3 Newton. So again students we have worked out problems which are basic application of Coulomb's law. The next session we will continue with few more problems. Until then have a nice time. Thank you.